Cascade Sports. I'm Moore McGarlington. We're here at Rockhurst University, where Illinois Springfield just defeated them. And right now I have the head coach of the Prairie Stars, Ben Wiersbo. How's it going, Coach? I'm doing good. How you doing? Good. Coach, tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been coaching. Yeah, this is my fourth year at the University of Illinois Springfield. I've grown up in a, a coaching house. My dad was a high school coach for 30 plus years in the Basketball Hall of Fame, or Illinois Basketball Hall of Fame. And, I've played everywhere from junior college. I was on an NCAA tournament team at South Alabama, played Division II, and, and I've kind of worked my way up through the ranks as a grad assistant in the University of North Dakota. Went to, I've been out the University, or at West Point Military Academy. Before I came here, I was at the University of Evansville for three years with Coach Simmons. What inspired you to get the job here at Illinois Springfield? Well, it's close to home. I, I was actually born in Springfield. Um, I grew up around there, and, and I, play, I played in the conference my senior year, so I know how good the Great Lakes Valley Conference is. And, and what it takes to win. So it's a, it's a great thing to be a part of. And it's a new program. We've only been in Division Two for four years, so it's a chance to build something. All right, Coach, this was a conference team. How big was this win? Well, any, every game's big, but I think going on the road and getting a road win's even bigger. So uh, our guys, you know, battled out for 40 minutes and, and made enough plays to win the game down the stretch. All right, Coach, um, with your coaching skills, what stat would you say is the most important to win a game? I think I think for us we're really working on trying to get deflections to get out there defensively. We you know we had a bunch of steals. Brandon Snowden's, you know, he had ten steals last week against Drury. He's got four, five tonight. Um, so I think we really need our, when our pressure's out there getting deflections, our defense turns into offense for us. All right, you guys um, went into halftime up to what was the talk in the locker room? Oh, we just need to finish out better. We had them down seven or eight, and, and we turned the ball over a couple of times and let them back in it. So it was take care of the ball, uh, finish every play with a rebound, and, and get great shots every time down the court. All right. How? Uh, what did you feel personally about your team's play tonight? I thought it was good till the very end. I think we made you know some silly mistakes, turning the ball over, and and then guys need you know step up and make free throws at the end. But like I said, to win on the road's tough, and we made one more play than than uh, Rockers did, and we'll take the road win. All right, coach. And who's your next opponent? We go to William and Jewel on Saturday. You have any words for them? Shh. Well, we'll have to lace them up and get ready to go against those guys. All right. You heard it first from Patrick Sermeyer, the head coach. What's up, Kansas City? I'm Brianna Garlington. I'm Charles Williams. And I'm Derek Parker. And we are CMG. CMG. And we would like to welcome you to follow both websites. That's whatsupkansascity.net and cascadesports.tv. Some of our programs consist of Are You Awoke, Coach's Corner, and many more interviews, news, and blogs. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram at Cascade Media Group and Twitter at What's Up KC and Cascade Sports. And remember, the victory we call success goes to the best prepared. And when you invest in your community, you are really just investing in yourself. So don't just like it, share it.